Hello, I'm Susan Hogan from the Staten Island Museum, and welcome to Super Science. Ecologists monitor the health of an environment by measuring its biodiversity. Biodiversity is the number of different plants and animals that live in a particular habitat. Today, we'll be backyard scientists and observe biodiversity right outside the kitchen door. We will use a hula hoop to isolate an area to observe a sampling of biodiversity in our backyard habitat. To record our observations, we will need a science field journal. A field journal is a notebook that scientists use while they're working outside. It can be a notebook like this or sheets of paper that are stapled or tied together. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a field journal. You can use your field journal to record discoveries when you investigate your hula hoop habitat. For this activity, you will need to gather these materials, construction paper or cardstock, lined paper, plain white copy paper, pencil, a ruler, markers, crayons, or colored pencils, a hole punch, and about one yard of ribbon or yarn. First, you'll need to punch holes in the front and back covers and the plain copy paper. To do this, we're going to center one of the pieces of lined paper over the cardstock and mark the spot where we'd like to punch the holes. I've arranged my papers alternating with a lined piece of paper and a plain white piece of copy paper for any drawings I might like to add to my journal. Now I'm going to take a piece of yarn and weave this yarn through the holes of all the papers in order to join the journal together. I like to start with the outside holes first, and then I'm gonna bring both pieces of yarn up through the center hole. Like that, and I'm gonna tie and that's going to be my journal. Use markers, crayons, or colored pencils to decorate and design the cover of the science field journal. Now comes the fun part. I'm going to use a ruler just so I can have an imaginary line to make my design straight. You can make any design on your journal that you want. It'd be as creative as you want to be. Once the cover is complete, work on the inside pages. Start each page by recording the title of today's activity. So I've titled mine today, Biodiversity in a Hula Hoop Habitat. We always wanna start with our date. So you'll put in whatever date you are doing your activity on. We also might wanna put in the time of day. Other factors you might want to consider to put into your science journal are weather conditions. You can list whether it was hot or cold outside, if it was sunny or overcast, if it's rained recently, or if the ground is wet. You have all of this area then to record the conditions of the day and what you see. Now it's time to go outside and explore your backyard. Gently toss the hula hoop into your yard. Observe and record everything that is inside of the hoop. You can make notes and sketches or add photographs in your science field journal and list questions you may have that require further investigation to identify the plants and animals you observe in your hoop habitat. Usually, the more varied the species of consumers, producers, and decomposers that exist in an area, the healthier the ecosystem. You can observe what's in your hula hoop just once or repeat at different times of the day, or even throughout the year. How many different species did you find in your hula hoop habitat? Here are the observations that I made in my hula hoop habitat today. I made a sketch and recorded information about the crocus. I included other animals that I've observed in my yard throughout the year. I hope you had fun creating a science field journal and learning about biodiversity. Thank you for watching Super Science with the Staten Island Museum.